All right, Mike, I'm making this video for you. Uh, like who cares? You know, the kind of questions people need to be asking themselves is these. Why does this thing cause so much animation? And what can I take from that? You know, if you said the constants cause, I don't see any animation. And if you said, why do you need animation? Because that means they like what they're doing. You can't fake animation. Anyway, Christopher Good, and I want you to help me on this too, brainstorming. Exactly, you know, I, what I need is somebody, even on a deeper level, to help me understand. I, if you said, just give me the Cliff Notes version of why you believe it's a causation of animation, because the, the cues are so clear and the dog is operating in the absence of inhibition of doing something wrong maybe and um, so it's operating in very close to free agency and when dogs are happy they run and jump so the other thing is it does have the capacity to act like a flywheel and you probably haven't seen that part yet Christopher you will though you will and let me just give you this little tip if you've got one running at you coming at you as fast as it can go wide open then start going the other way even if it's for I'll send you that one video Christopher's like god this chick's got a video for everything um, but I had about three seconds to run and I did. I ran for three seconds, and if you add the pager then, even when the dog is coming at you, and that's what you can't do with the constant, and you can't do with the nick, is do it when the dog is coming at you. You essentially load that motion into the pager, and if you said, well, okay, I've loaded into the pager, how do I get it out? You push the button. That's the crazy part. All right, so what I've got, let me get my bumper, uh, bumper thing here, though. So I don't know. There's a lot of, hi, Shy. There's a lot of different things at play as far as, you can't say that about the other caller. It isn't the causation of animation. And this is. Anyway, if you said, well, what is this lady? Just one of these videos where the people talk. There's no dog. There is a dog. It's just not here. It's out in the middle of the water. So let me see if I can get it by psychic recall. I'm going to try that first, you know, and whether that's maybe your default, that's probably not going to work, though. If you said, why, this dog will do laps all day long. I know I can get him to come to me, though, so I'm going to do a couple things, though. I'm going to move back over that way, and I'm going to make it seem like I'm farther away, so. And I'm going to use the phone. That... Better! Not sure if you could see the gate you probably could but if you there there's two very interesting things happened right there one I was able to hairpin turn him at that gate with the collar Two, it, it created no inhibition in the dog whereas if you hit it with constant right there you may not get it to run if you said what would what would the effect of that be it might slowly go through the gate then run 
All right, so let me get him back. And if you said, well, what do you mean? What does he love, swimming more than the handler? Yeah. All right, he, I see him right there. I'm just going to do a silent recall. If you said, what's the noticeable difference in this dog between what just happened and when you put the collar on? I think you saw it yourself, Mike. Oh, I'm awful! Oh, that better not have been her getting a swirl. Oh, no, that's her. That's All right, so... I think you saw that, Mike. The, the pager increased the speed. And I, that's what I, I'm interested in knowing why. All right, so let me get him up there. So... He's ready to go. He's ready to do everything right, maybe. It's, there's, is, in his mind, there's no corrections in this dynamic. I don't really do the leaping from here, but I can try it. If you said that's not animated, Jesus! All I saw was a dog flying through the air. But I'm not, I'm not, I'm still in the same chemical state, I would say, as when the dog's out here. All right, let's try it one more time. All right, let me get him over here. So I've got my, my minor adjust, eyes, thumb, <laughs> I think that's kind of helping him, Mike. You know why? Because he's kind of jumping downhill. You can't really see it maybe that good, but there's just a slight downhill to the trajectory. So it's not, it's not taking away any of his animation. It's adding to it. He, and if you said, what's his? He's hard to move around because <laughs> he's so stiff. He's hard to micro adjust. He'll make big moves. He added a little extra hop, so I gave him. I think as little as possible, do you want to send him? All right, so I can make him do a little bit of distance. But I'm on zero. I'm not even thinking. You know, this dog knows me. If you're living with these dogs every day and you're a couple years into the relationship and you're doing all these corrections, you didn't train them very good. I don't know what else to say. You have to face the fact that you didn't train them very good. All right, let me. <laughs> Mike's like, okay, lady, I got it. I've already been through that. It was awful. All right, sit. tell you, I got these little treats and shoe bottom will do anything for them. I've never seen anything like it. She'll do anything for these little treats. So if you said, well, what do you mean? What's your plan to train her so you don't have to use those treats anymore? No. No, my plan is to keep a constant supply of those treats from now until the time I die. All right, so... I'm gonna tell you what I'm at risk at is the dog going. <laughs> if you said, how can you help that? I can, I can do it this way. I'm better off to do it this way than try to send him back. He's hard to micro move. And I can't do it with the page because he's so hair triggery. You didn't see it. Watch. Let me see if I can handle it. Do it. Back. Yay. 
I did. I hope you saw that, Mike. My training came in handy. He actually went back. Sit. And if you said, why did that happen? I'm going to tell you exactly why it happened. He thought he knew where that footstool was, and I moved it. That was pretty good, though. I, and if you said, what, what does back mean? It's got the same thing. It means go back as fast as you can, and don't come back towards me anymore. Don't come any farther towards me. Uh, you know, go back. Uh, this is... what saved me the fact that it was white <laughs> I got it lady so that was good micro moving him I'm just doing that manually though I'm not doing it with the pager because he's too tear hair triggery he's too And I got that thing on purpose, because I'll tell you, he likes it. Okay, so in order to make him steady, sit. Oh, he on a hair trigger. Sit. He said, why were you giving him the treat so fast? Hey, look at his little hole pinches. If I had another one back there, I could probably cast him back right now. He could, he would probably go. No, no, hang on, let mommy fix your thing. The bar, I'm gonna tell you one thing, Mike. The platform ended up giving me sort of a remote, but he, sort of a remote sit without the platform. I know I talked about that one time before. Anyway, I'm just gonna do it one more time. But you can see it's, it's the, and I don't know exactly why, if it's the build up to that impulse being triggered. It's a chemical build up to the impulse being triggered. It's Pavlov's dog. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Sit. Remember, my micro moving isn't that good. I'm just doing it manually. I'm just doing it manually. And see it if I have to send him back. Oh, there <laughs> I didn't. He said, What would be better if you could throw it in the same place or have a pile of those? Well, he's in all his glory. If you said, What would make it better? Oh, put a little fur on that string right there to make it seem like a tail. Sit. Boy, I didn't have the trees ready, but I made it, made it boom, boom, boom. I was taking action. So, I mean, if you're able to look at this dog and say that... Ah! This electric collar is somehow shutting it down. If, if someone said this electric collar is somehow shutting this dog down, my response would be, thank God! Thank God I can barely contain it now! Alright, we'll do it one more time. Hang on.
So I can manually turn them. Not with the collar. I can't. I can't augment my turn. I can't augment that with my pager. Do I need to be able to? Yeah, I do. I stopped him with the pager. Anyway, you got the idea. I hope you guys like that. And Christopher, I want you to think about that, and you're going to start seeing it as you, as you do more. But if you said the use of this electric collar has shut this poor dog down to the point... <laughs> It has it. And if you said, when are you doing the pager for that jump when my thumb goes like that? When my thumb goes like that and then I'm holding it down basically till the dog hits the ground, but that's only, what you have to understand is that's not very long. Oh, I'm awful. He's doing anything for these dinner rounds. All right, watch. Let me get you a little closer. I think you'll be able to hear it. It's the trigger point, but... It's the trigger point, but it's also... It's also... I can't think of the right word. I'll think of it in the middle of the night. I'll text you in the middle of the night, Mike. Sit. It's going to go concurrent with the thumb. No, it isn't. I'm, I, I was wrong. It's not. It's going until he's about right here. I'll do it one more time. Now listen closely. I'm not going to say anything. Sit. It's going to go with the thumb. There's the eyes. Boom. <laughs> anyway, I think you get the idea, but if you said they're doing that with constant, no, they're not. And if people say, well, I don't like that kind of work, good. Good. Get dull, boring work. <laughs> if you're a trainer, you've got to be able to say, I've got the, you know, obviously your dog isn't going to be as talented as this European Doberman, but anyway, think about that, Christopher. Think about it, Mike, and, you know, maybe we need to come up with a vernacular to describe this because it is, it is. Fetty! If you said, what did that dog do? I hope you're still there, Mike. It changed the direction of travel to circumvent the possibility of turning at the gate. He went around that way. He started to go. He thought about it. He went around that way. He ran around on the other side of the thing and went out that way, which he's clearly done before, but I foiled his little plan. I wouldn't go to the water. But I did all that on zero. I did all that on zero. I'm not using any nick on this dog. And if you said, well, I can train him with the nick to do that, and you'll never have to use the nick again. I'd say, please, that's not going to happen. Look at this dog. He's a very, very smart dog, and he's a very, very fast dog. But I think we need to understand. I want to understand from the physiological viewpoint... I think you could do tests, and maybe I... If I said they need to do tests, I'm the only one that's going to be able to do it. But if you set up a drill. Uh oh, look. Oh, she sees a rabbit. Oh no, oh no. Oh no. Oh, thank God she's slow. Oh, if that, if that Dobie would have seen it. Oh, he finished. See, she's on the hunt. He's going to go. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Oh, he on it. He on it. Fish hook. If you said what was that, that was 30. That was bam, bam, bam. And if you said, well, what do you mean? That's not that high. The dog has an understanding. This is important too, Mike. The dog has an understanding. It can and will go higher. 
you know. There's no working level, whatever. Here, work this. Now you see a rabbit here, work this, <laughs> you know. And I'll work it higher than dirty. You know, so anyway, I hope you guys like that episode. And I really want you to start thinking about that, Christopher. And you know, if you said, well, this Dobie was doing this before, it wasn't. It was kind of bouncy, but Mike will tell you, it wasn't that bouncy. And then if you said, well, the only thing that you're, if you didn't have that pager, you wouldn't be able to get it to do that. <laughs> Bingo. <laughs> Bingo. Anyway, Mike, I'll message you later. I just I think it's very, very, very interesting work. Bye, guys.